Okay, so Freya, how did you get into the adult industry? The story that everyone is dying to, I'm just kidding. Um, It's rather odd. I think that it's odd because I don't like, I haven't gotten into porn and met other girls that have had this experience, but I'm a weirdo. So I was a huge porn fan, but not like, it's not like I would sit around and like masturbate to porn. That was not it for me. I was just intrigued by porn. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, this is really interesting. Like the industry as a whole. Yes. Like I remember, I think I saw like a documentary on Netflix or something. Maybe it was like When Porn Ends, which, you know, those were. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I was like. There were a few of those. I was like, I don't feel like this is like a great example. Like I feel like there's more to this. Like how could Mm -hmm. this industry be thriving? Mm Mm-hmm. And this is how it goes, right? So I get this a lot when people ask me about bringing um, like vintage stars on. Right. If they've moved on with their life in a successful way in which they've got another career that's not involved with adult or whatever, maybe their family or something, they generally don't want to come back and relive their porn career. Yeah. Because it doesn't do them any good. Right. Like financially, right? Mm -hmm. Because they don't have anything to promote or sell. Yeah. If you've made that successful transition out, Mm -hmm. you don't want to like out yourself. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stigma that follows it. Right. I mean, everybody knows so that. So much stigma. So yeah. if you've managed to like move to the Midwest and start a family mm-hmm. and you're like a soccer mom now yeah. and you're, you know, living, <laughs> why would you Let me just go on a porn on a po- a podcast? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And be like, hi, I used to be this porn star. Like, yeah. they don't want that. Right. And so that's why you, you often can't get interviews with people who left the adult industry unless they're like still in it in some way, shape or form. Yeah. Or... Like they have some sob story that like they want to sell right. or something like that. And that's Hollywood loves that. Yes. They eat that up. Yes. They're like, oh, we love hurt you. We love women to regret the choices that they've made. Tell us all about it. Yes. So I remember seeing that. And then I think I saw like Janine. I think Janine did one yeah, of those. She did. And I was like, who the hell is Janine? And I was like, I think I had. 17 turning 18. I just turned 18. And I was like, who the fuck is this person? So I like fell down a deep dive. And that's when like, I, I was like, forget the porn that people are making today. Like, what is this porn that they were making in the nineties? Like, Mm -hmm. what is this? Mm -hmm. And so I just like became obsessed basically with like learning about everyone that was, and honestly, the industry was so small back then. Mm -hmm. It was small. Like Mm -hmm. now I can't, it's so saturated, but back then it was like, you could count the directors on your hands. Like it was just, you know, so I just fell down like this hole of porn. And I was like, man, this is like really crazy. I think I want to like participate in this some way, but I didn't know how. And I had a desk job out of high school and I was like, oh, we all have dreams. <laughs> I'll just be here on my computer. So. But it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't meant to be that way. No, clearly not. COVID. Ah, uh, COVID. COVID will do COVID it. COVID was the gateway drug to porn. I got to tell you, like, <laughs> so many people got into porn because of COVID. We thought the world was ending. Yeah. Some I mean, people I get were like, it. I'm only do- fans was blowing up. People were making exactly. lots of money. Exactly. Exactly. And everyone was like, fuck it, I don't care. I'm like stuck in my house by myself. Yeah. And I can't pay my rent. Literally. And like the government doesn't care. They don't care at all. Yeah. So that's kind of what happened to me. Because at that point I had been, I went to AVN in 2020 and I was like, okay, I brought my friend Paige. And I was like, girl. We met there, right? Yeah, we did. Yes. I was doing interviews at the Adult Time booth. Yes. Yes. So I had been listening to the podcast, actually. I was like, I've got to learn everything I can. And then I flew Paige out with me um, for the weekend and we went to the expo and I like dressed up. I was like, I have to have my little outfit on. Like I have to look all cute because I'm going to meet all these people. And I just wanted to get a feel. I was like, Paige, this is going to dictate the rest of like my life. Like if Mm -hmm. I go and I meet people and I like them and it's chill, great. If I go and I'm like, that was fucking crazy. Never again, back to the desk job. Mm -hmm. So I went and I loved it. I Mm -hmm. actually met Jenna Fox. Mm -hmm. She like brought me to a bunch of parties that I was not old enough to get into. And I was just like having the time of my life. Yeah. And then I got on a plane and I went back to my sad desk job. And I was like, wow, that this sucks. 
Like it was like a withdrawal. And I was like, okay. So that was in January. And then obviously COVID hit. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, eh, I have to pay my bills because my job at the time entailed me sitting at a desk and interviewing people face to face from nine to five, five days a week. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can't, I don't even want to be in an office. Like I don't want to leave my house. Mm -hmm. And so I remember walking in one day with all my stuff and being like, sorry, like, I don't know what's going on out there and I have to quit. And I remember my boss being like, you're not going to find another job that pays more than what you're making now. Surprise. Little surprise. (laughs) Um, April. Uh, So it was really funny because at the time I was making like $450 a week at this job that I was working nine to five, five days a week. So I was like, girl, what are you talking about? Yeah. Um, That's not a living wage for anyone. Not even just for a 19-year-old girl, for literally anyone, Mm -hmm. Um, especially during a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so I left. My stimulus check came in and I was like... Well, I don't know what to do. And I had a therapist at the time that I had been doing like Zoom calls with. And she calls me up like a month into COVID and she's like, I'm quitting my job. Uh, I just want to let you know. I want to be completely like truthful with you. I've been doing MFC for like. (laughs) Fuck off. Oh my God. I was going to say, okay. I was going to say like, (laughs) I was going to joke that she was going to tell you that she was joining OnlyFans. But it was not a it's, joke. No, it's not a joke MFC at all. MFC is my free cams, which is like the biggest camming platform in the world, by the way. Just for those who don't know. You literally, you I guessed it. it. I love it. So she calls me and she's like, I've been camming for six months now. I have more money in the bank than I've ever had. My and this entire, is a therapist. This is They're supposed therapist. to make like good money. Yeah. And I was like, girl. Well, I just quit my job. So like, what do you mean, MFC? Like, Do you, do you want to do a collab? I, I, <laughs> Just wait. So wait, really? <laughs> just wait. No, not really. Um, but it, it got weird. Things got weird. So okay. she was like, "Come over. I'll teach you your face right now. You're horrified. <laughs> you have no. You just don't know what's gonna happen." So I go over to her house. She's like, "You need this. You need that. You need this camera. You need this laptop. You need these toys." And I'm like, okay, like, whatever. She shows me. She helps me set up my account. Wow. And next thing I knew, a week later, I was on MFC. And I think in my first week, I made, like, almost two grand. Wow. And I had gone on for, like, four days. Wow. And I was like, oh, I guess I can make more than that desk job. Yeah. And so, yeah, I I mean, I made that money back immediately from my stimulus check, which Mm -hmm. was amazing. And then I could pay my bills because at the time my mom had moved to Denver and I was living alone in the apartment. She was still paying for it, but she's like, girl, when that lease is up, like you got to get out. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Eh, okay. So I was just like trying to save money and put money away so I could move out. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, so I started an OnlyFans, which by the way, when you don't have any way of advertising yourself, it is not easy. I had lots of guys from MFC come and like join my OnlyFans, but there were so many like dudes that I went to school with that were like, hey, like, how's it going? And I'm from a small town. Yeah. So it was like the majority of the people paying my bills right now are like my neighbors. Weird. So, you know, where their stimulus check was going. That's right into mine, I guess. (laughs) So... Yeah, that's what happened. And I I moved in with a friend and next thing you know. Damn. Yeah. That was like, that was a real breakthrough session that you had with your therapist, huh? I guess so. (laughs) Really life-changing, really changed the direction of everything for me. Wow. Yeah. Maybe your therapist was just, can I ask like how old she was? She was like in her early Early 30s. Okay. Yeah. So she was like, okay, I'm just like thinking about the therapists that I've had who've all been like in their 60s, 70s, yeah, no. like, you know. So yeah. when I, I'm picturing like my therapist right. like joining MFC, but right. I guess, it's yeah, early that makes 30s. sense. Yeah. Wow. Well, and then it's funny because I'd be like camming and since you're, you can have friends on mm-hmm. MFC, people can like see who you're friends with. Mm-hmm. Sometimes she'd come in my chat and be like, hey girl, just checking in on you when I'm like, fucking tits out like and I'm like how are you oh. feeling yeah. well it's funny because no one could know that we knew each other right and so people would be like hey you guys should like collab sometime 
I'm like, she knows my childhood trauma. Like, I can't do that. What do you mean? I'm going to have to marry her after that. Like, that's just not, you know? So that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That is definitely a much different, ex- um, yeah, for some experience <laughs> that I've heard from like anybody else. Very odd. That's crazy. Yeah. 